Hi, my name is Tony Kovach, and I'm the artist in residence here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. I want to welcome you back to our series of free instructional videos for the piano accordion. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to play a three chord song in a minor key, the Hungarian tune, Kurya Take. First, let's review our minor scale. In C major, the first five notes of the scale look like this, C, D, E, F, and G. We learned in our last lesson that to make a minor feel, all we have to do is flat the third. Today our goal is to harmonize a song using three chords in a minor key. Just like in our major keys, our three most common chords in minor keys will also be the one, four, and five chord. Let's find those scale degrees and figure out what the chords will look like. Remember the one chord, or tonic, is always built off of the first scale degree. In other words, it always has the same name as the key itself. So that's going to be C, and because we're in the key of C minor, our tonic is going to be C minor. While we could use an F major chord to harmonize our minor melody today, in practice, the subdominant is usually a minor chord in minor keys. In order to turn F major into an F minor chord, all we have to do is flat the third, just like we did to turn C major into C minor. Our third, or the middle note of the chord, is A, so we're simply going to flat that and make it A flat. Notice how it immediately changes the character of the chord. Even though we had to alter our four chord to fit the minor key, we actually don't have to alter our five chord because the five chord is often major in a minor key. So we're gonna play our familiar G major chord. That means our one, four, and five chords will look like this. C minor, F minor, and G major. But we know from previous lessons that it's a lot easier to play these chords if we use inversions. Since our song takes place in this register today, let's find those chord inversions in the same range. We're gonna play our C minor in root position. For our F minor chord, we're going to play the inversion with C in the bass. So we're gonna play C, F, and A flat. The G major chord inversion we're going to use is going to have a B on the bottom. B, D, and G. Let's try playing one, four, five, one. Let's see if we can find those chords in the left hand. Remember on the left hand side you have your bass row, behind that is your major row, and behind that is your minor row. So to play a C minor chord, you're going to put your ring finger on the indent, and you're going to put your index finger on the minor row, and there should be a space in the middle where the major button is, which we're not playing right now. To play our F minor, we go down to the F row and play the same fingering. And as always, our G major is going to be right above the C row. Let's play one, four, five, one. Now try putting both hands together. All of this will come in handy as we transition to our song of the day, Kurya Take. The song Kurya Take only consists of two different melodies. The good news is that both of these melodies can be played in our closed five finger position, starting on C. The first phrase sounds like this. And then we simply repeat that phrase. The second phrase of the song is a little bit shorter and starts with our pinky. And then we repeat that again. Finally, we end the song by repeating our A phrase again. If we call this phrase the A phrase, and this the B phrase, the form of the entire piece is A, A, B, B, A. A again. B. Again. A. 
again. Back to A. Just as the right hand material is split into two distinct phrases, so is the left hand. During the A phrase, we're going to play a 1-4-5-1 one, one pattern. It's the exact same pattern we practiced in our warm-up. Then you repeat. The accompaniment for the B phrase is even simpler. You're simply going to play a C minor chord anytime there's a B phrase. Repeat. And then when we go back to the A phrase, you're going to play the same material again. Remember, the form of the song is A, A, B, B, A. Repeat. Now B part. Repeat. Back to A. Once you have both hands together, try playing it in a different octave. You could also play the chords in the right hand for a fun contrasting section. Stay tuned for our next lesson where we continue to talk about minor keys. Thanks for watching.